Matter of fact, before we go in and watch this video, do me a solid. Hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. Come on, talk to me, bro. Talk to me, I hear you. What's your first question, bro? What's your first question? You say, you say, uh, you do slavery in the Bible, right? Yes. So that means you did with slavery in the Bible, baby. No. You wrote the before, Bible, before, before, God wrote the Bible, right? Yes. It's called, it's called, Naeem, it's called prophecy. So it was written before it happened. When you was good, Naeem, when you ruled the world, bro. When you was on top, when your people was on top. It wasn't hard out here. We ain't have to be idiots out here. We we already had it. You don't wake up to work and go to sleep to work again. No, you just wake up to rule every day. Your family good every day. That's when you were told, keep doing what you're doing. Don't mess this up or you're gonna go in chains. You're gonna go in chains. You're gonna go in slavery. That's called prophecy. That's called prophecy. I like that question, bro. That's an excellent question. Go to Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Sir, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. What you I'm gonna show you what we did, bro. Remember, I told you we had a holy way. We are holy people. We are supposed to behave holy. We are supposed to behave chosen, but we don't behave like that. We don't behave like that, right? Watch it. I'm gonna show you. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Remember I told you, when, when we was told, when we was told what would happen to us, it was when we was in rulership. It was when we weren't uncha enchained or, 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 or in a low state of being. We was, nobody could stand before us, bro. Nobody, many have tried and they all failed miserably. We destroyed anybody who stood in front of us. And that's, I'm talking about nations. That's at one point in time. So the Bible says it shall come to pass, meaning it's prophecy, it's prophetic, meaning you're doing good when this is told to you. You all right when this is being told to you. Come on. If thou will, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. It says if you don't listen to the voice of the Lord thy, meaning your God. Thy means your, that's possessive. That God don't belong to everybody. That's your God. That's your people's God. Say it again. Discover the Bible. Nope. Go back to. Go, I got you. Go back to Baruch chapter three verse thirty six. Go back to Baruch. Listen. Whatever I say, I'm gonna show you out the Bible, bro. Because you know we've been taught naive. Whatever you hear out the mouth of somebody that look like you, it's a lie. So I'm gonna just show you the Bible. Cause that's what we've been taught. No, no. I ain't say. I, I'm just telling you. Bro, I'm making a general statement. I can't hear you, bro. Give me that and then give me that song. Yes, sir. Great the, the man yes, sir. I got you. The book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 36. Come on. He hath found out all the way of knowledge. So the he here, Naeem, is God. He knows everything, right? He has found out all the ways of knowledge, right? Watch this. And had given it unto Jacob. And had given it unto Jacob. Guess who Jacob is, bro? You are Jacob. Right. Look around. All these black people who we think nothing of, those are the children of Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. He found out everything and gave it to Jacob, meaning right. Israelites, black people. Black people. Come on. His servant, uh -huh. and to Israel, his beloved. Uh -huh. Israel is the beloved of God. Come now, give me that. It's Psalm. Come on, the Book of Psalms, chapter sixty-eight, verse eleven. Now, hey, listen. You say who wrote the Bible? Listen carefully. Come on. The Lord gave the word. So the Lord gave the word. The Lord inspired brothers, black men like you. Come on. Great was the company of those that published it and it says he inspired he took great men and he had them write the bible 
Right? Give me that. Matter of fact, give me that in Ezra. Ezra talks about it. Second Ezra 14. Right? Second Ezra 14, right? Where he was told to sit down and write the Bible. That's it. Watch this. I'm going to show you. Naeem, you with me, bro? I'm going to show you how that process went. Because it happened before. It happened before Ezra. It happened with Moses. Remember, Moses went up on the mount, right? Mount Sinai for 40 days and 40 nights, right? You remember that story? That's what Moses did. He wasn't up there 40 days and 40 nights for 10 commandments. Right. He was up there getting everything. What's going to happen to the children of Israel thousands of years later if they don't keep the commandments? He got all the knowledge. Guess what other knowledge he got? He got the knowledge of what happened before he existed in this planet. He got everything, right? So. Hey, bro, that's another, what's your name? Yeah. My name's Tate. Tate, that's another excellent question. You know how, Tate? That's fair for now. But remember that we be no more henceforth carried about his children. You understand? All we, all we got is lies. We was raised in lies, bro, so I'm not mad at that. But I'm telling you, this is how you know that the Bible, this is how you say, how do y'all trust the Bible, right? Because before I had this Bible, before I knew it, when I felt just like you do about this book, I'm asking myself, why my people feel like, why my people go through this out here? Right. Why my people die like this? Right. What other nation of people you see le blood leaking the gutters in the street? Right. How filthy is that to die? How undignified is that of what you know as kings and queens and a powerful nation? How low is that? So when I had that question in my mind, it was only one thing and it was years of searching. Don't get it twisted. It was years of looking. It was years of denying this book. Make no mistake. However, this book was the only thing that could answer that question. And that question is, those answers to that question, why do my people live like this? Why do my people go through this? Was in this book and no other book. What? No other book. No other book. That's kind of what I want the people to see too. That's a lot of tragedy. This is a couple of things. But listen. Uh, uh, what were what we doing? Tate, right? Who wrote the Bible? This is how that process wrote, went, right? So the Lord inspired people, right? It's, you ever felt like, you ever felt like uh, you just know something? Don't go in there today. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I feel bad about what I'm doing. All these things, right? You ever had that feeling? You, you, I'm, you, you already told me your opinion, whether you know it or not. is the people who say one day the nothing was just having an alpha on a picnic and nothing said boom and now here's a black man <laughs> and here's a star and a, and a sun and a black Listen, this is how the process of how the Bible went, by inspiration of God. Remember, it says, God gave the word. Great was the company of them that published it, right? So God inspired me. Just like you got a, when you get a bad feeling, you ain't seen that something bad happen yet. You're like, nah, that ain't right. This ain't right. Just like when you do something that you know is evil, you got a feeling in you. Where that feeling come from? Say it again. That's your celestial connection to the universe. That, listen, we are connected to the universe, but that don't mean the universe is God. No, I ain't a human. It's not a human. You ain't supposed to be human. Bring it up. Why would they make God as a man? How did, how did, how did God get put on the Hey, listen, I ain't listen, bro. You still think it's small. 
You're not thinking like a God yet. You're still not thinking like a God. Let me show you something, bro. Watch it. Let me, let, we gotta, I'm gonna I'm read this about God inspiring man to write the Bible. And then we're gonna get into that. Cause you got some good concerns and you said we connected with the universe. I'm gonna show you that. But I'm gonna show you that God is out, God is a man, but he's not human. You understand? God is not subject to somebody popping him on the, on the block. God is not subject to somebody's opinions as to what makes him right or wrong. What God says is what God say. Watch this, come on. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 14, verse 42. The highest gave understanding unto the five men, uh -huh. and they wrote the wonderful visions of the night that were told, which they knew not. So the Bible says, God gave inspiration to men to write the Bible, to write the book, the words of God. That's where the Bible comes from. That's where it comes from, bro. Now, let's get into that. Give me Romans chapter one. Give me Romans chapter one. So we are not necessarily connected to the universe, but guess what, bro? The universe was made for you and it wouldn't exist if you weren't here. Say it again. What do you say? Now we're not connected to it. I mean, in essence, we are, but I'm just saying it's not our God. The universe is not God, bro. Something created the universe. So that's why I said what you believe is Darwinism. That's a white man. And he was a deceiver. Yeah, Darwin is a white man. Uh, what's his name? James Darwin. Charles, Charles, Charles Darwin is a white man. Say it again, bro. Right, that's Darwinism. That's the Big Bang Theory. That means the universe is God. It did, but it created itself. That's Darwinism. We ain't connected to that in doctrine, neither are we connected to that in, as far as uh, celestial right. or not. But we... Yes. You know why you, you know why you think that way? Listen, Naeem, we come out here, I've been talking out here for 30, 40 minutes, bro. You know why you think that way? Because this is the first time you heard it. So how old are you? You about 30 years old? Church told you lies. Church taught you Darwinism. This ain't church. I'm not a Christian, bro. Right. Make no mistake. No, I'm not a Muslim. I follow no doctrine of man. Right. What I follow is the words of God, the Bible, the Holy Bible. Right. And guess what? In this book ain't no religion. In right. this book ain't nobody's truth but God's. Yes, right. Truth. Yes, right. That's all that's in this book. We've been lied to, bro. So now you carry it all around the place. Whatever you want to believe is true. It's true to you. But that doesn't make it true. That's just your opinion. Understand that. So the Bible, God, who created everything? What about karma? What about who? Karma. So is karma real? Is who real? Karma. Karma. Yes, karma is real. But karma came from another doctor. What karma actually is is you reaping what you sow. If right. you've done evil and you're going to be punished for it. Right. Come on. Let, hold, hold on, bro. We all over the place. Let me read this. Come on, watch this. So you made a statement. We're connected to the universe, right? Watch this. In the sense that we can understand that there's a powerful being called God. In that sense, we are connected to the universe, meaning in knowledge. Come on, which, you got what I want? Come on. Romans chapter 1, verse 20. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world. You hear what it's saying, uh, Naeem? So the invisible things of him, because God is invisible. You can't see him, right? You can't see God, right? But you can see all these things that he created. You can clearly see that, right? Watch this. From the creation of the world, you can see that there is a God because something created all this that you see. Right. Whether you believe in him or not, you clearly know there is something greater than all these things that you can see. That's right. Because they did not create themselves. These things did not create themselves. So you know that something greater than what your eyes can see created them. Thus is God, right? Say it again. Hold on, let me finish the scripture now. Hold on. Are clearly seen, being understood 
by the things that are made. Being understood by the things that are made. So guess what are the things that were made, Dane? The trees. Who told these trees to grow up straight and sprout leaves? Who told them that? Who told the sun when to come up every day? Who did that? That was around before you. That's a lie. That's what you were taught by Darwin too. Right. That's a lie. The one who created them say that the sun rotates around the sun. Science is a lie. Right. Give me that in Timothy, bro. Right. right. Hey, hey, yo, yo, Naeem. 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 Why is he calling sun lies? Take your last name, bro. Why is it called sun lies then? If the sun, if the earth rotates around the sun. Why is it called sun rocks? Is that also a lie? Science says it's a rock. Science say that. Science say that. Bro, I'm not, listen. Listen, Naeem. Listen, Naeem. You were lost before I said that, bro. I'm trying to show you the way. That's like saying, so why I'm can't we, to show you the way, why we can't breathe on the water then? You're not made to be underwater. You're a, you're a man. Fish are made to be underwater. Because you're terrestrial. You are not made to be in space. Why would you want to be in space? Who wants to be in space? Come on. Science is not fake. Science is not fake. I did not. I said you've been lied to. I said science has lied to you. So you have two separate types of science, right? Two different sciences. You have one for the black man or the Negro so that he stays a slave. And then you have one for the so-called white man or powers that be that run this whole world that they operate by. And if you knew that what they knew, why you ain't operating the world? Why you ain't controlling the world? Why are people on the bottom? everywhere all over the world right why is that naive if we all had science meaning knowledge the word science just means knowledge of something that's all the word means you've been lied to bro just like me just like your brothers and sisters you've been lied to come on the book of first timothy chapter 6 verse 20 listen carefully oh timothy uh -huh. keep that which is committed to thy trust what's committed to the trust of timothy the real science the real knowledge or truth of god come on avoiding profane and vain babblings profane and vain babblings is when one says there is no god that's profane something created you how can you say whatever it is don't exist no god. i'm saying it the way y'all explain it is not right What's wrong about it, bro? What's wrong? That if you don't like it, it's different than you say the sun, sex, and the sun rises up there. I didn't say that. The white man say that. Scientists say that. And the Bible, and the Bible say that. Oh, oh, no. Naeem, what I said was, you said, Naeem, you're not listening, bro. The, the, but I said that the sun does not. Uh, the earth does not rotate around the sun. I said the sun rotates around the earth. That's what I said. That's what I said. Meaning, when science say that, uh, when science say that the sun rises, sun hits sunrise, that's the true science. So the science that says that the sun does not move and the earth rotates around it is false science. They're both lies. They're both lies. Come on. Come on, I'm going to show you, bro. Come on. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 20. Oh, Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust. Why? Because everybody was taught these lies of science. So he's telling Timothy, listen, you, as you travel, as you go studying, as you go everywhere, you're going to see contrary things to what you've learned as truth. So he's saying keep that which you was taught, bro. Watch this. Avoiding profane and vain babbling, meaning they don't mean nothing, meaning they're lies, meaning they're not the truth. Avoid those babblings. Come on. And oppositions of science falsely so called. And oppositions of science falsely so called. Because words have meanings, bro. And the word science means knowledge. But if it's a lie, is it science? No, it's a lie. And it was made just for you. It was made just, a lie was made just for you, bro. Say that. Say it again. God made the sunrise. God made, yes, God told everything was in you. Everything, every day, everything has every a nature. Every day he made the sunrise. Everything has a nature. And I God gave it his nature. Bro, the earth rotates on an axis, not around the sun. Bruh, bruh, if you take a, if you take a, listen, if you take, 
Naeem, if you take a if you take if you take a basketball and you spin it on your finger, is it rotating around you? Right. It's just rotating. Rotating does not mean circumference or uh, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, revolution. No, revelation. Revolution. It's different, bro. That doesn't mean if you spinning a ball on your finger, it don't mean it's going around your body. So in the same way, the, even though the earth is spinning on an axis, like you would spin a basketball on your finger, hold on, bro. Like you would spin a basketball on your finger, it does not mean that it rotates around the sun. That doesn't mean that. Say it again. That's not true. Yes. You've been lied to. You've been lied to, Naeem. You've been lied to. Let's get this in Ecclesiastes. Come on. Let's read about the nature of creation. Come on. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1, verse 4. One generation passeth away, and another generation cometh. But the earth abideth forever. The sun. You know what else? You know what else was taught to us? That the earth is going to die. Right. The sun is going to explode and it's going to blow you up. The earth that you live on. No, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I ain't say you believe in that. I'm just saying, that's what science says. Does it not? Science, yes, science says that. Watch this, come on. But the Bible says, the one who created the Bible, the one that created earth, he said, the earth is going to abide forever. It's going to be here forever. Come on. But the earth abideth forever. Come on. The sun also ariseth. The sun also ariseth. Because earth is just spinning on an axis while the sun is rotating around the earth. That's the reality. That's what the creator of the earth and of the sun says. So I don't give a damn about what... Go to... Give me X. I don't care. What we have to do, Naeem, is we have to learn to fight against all the lies we were taught as slaves, bro. Because if you go... If you, if you take back what makes you greater than a slave... You won't believe those lies anymore. Neither will anybody be able to keep you as a slave. Right. But there was a reason a God was put in chains. Because he left off from the knowledge of being a God. Right. And took the lies that was fed to him by his slave masters. That's how a people was put in the chains. Hence, thus, here we are in our ghettos. All over the planet. You go to Russia, it's ghettos there. And guess who in them? People that look just like you. And they don't put them on TV. They don't put them on TV. They don't talk about them in the news. But they there. They there. You go to China, the same thing. No matter where on this planet you go, there are ghettos there and your people there in them. Filling them up and only your people. That's reality. Ask me how I know. Come on. Acts chapter 5 verse 29. Come on. Then Peter and the other apostles of answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. Say that again. We ought to obey God rather than men. Why should we? Why ought we obey God rather than men? Because man put you in chains. God told you that it was going to happen if you leave off from behaving as He taught you to. Read it again. We ought to obey God rather than men. Then Peter and the other apostles. So you know who Peter is. A black man just like you. Right. You know who the apostles is? Black men just like you. Right. That's in the Holy Bible. That's in the book that you've been lied to out of. That's in the book. Come on. Answered and said, we ought to obey God. We, me and you, me and my brother Naeem, me and my brother Tate, me and all my brothers out here ought to obey God rather than man. You know why, Naeem? Man put us in chains. So guess what that means? Man has nature to do evil. Evil being lied to us. We have been lied to. That's why we can't claim to profess that we have knowledge and we live in the ghetto. Right. We got to come back to something that is greater than this world who has you in as, uh, as a slave, bro. Has right. your people as slaves. Right. Has your people are trying to stick poison in you and calling it a vaccine. Right. It up. Wake up, bro. You in hell right now. You've been lied to in hell. Ain't nothing you've been taught here true. Right. Nothing. That's why, give me uh, 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 John 3 and 3. Give me that. Give me that. Then we're going to get some laws. We got to get some laws from our brother. Right, whether now. he deal with them or whether he turn his back on them, we got to get some laws. Okay. 
Come on. That's why Christ said this, bro. You never learned this in church, though you heard it many times in church. Watch this. John chapter 3, verse 3. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. You ever heard be born again? You ever heard born again? Yeah, we all heard that many times, right? But what is Christ talking about? What's the nature of a baby? What's the nature of an infant? What they know? What they teach him? Baby come out of his mother's behind. What would he teach him? What are you talking about? He ain't teaching or talking about nothing. He ain't teaching or talking about nothing. You know why? Because he don't know nothing. But more importantly than that nature of a baby, everything that a baby is able to teach and learn is taught to him. So everything that you've learned, if Christ is, remember, Christ is, hold on, bro. Christ is talking to Nicodemus. Nicodemus is way older than Christ. This is an aged man that Christ is telling, you got to be born again. Meaning, forget everything you know. It's all garbage. All of it is trash. Say it again. Oh, God created the white people. So what's the difference between us and them? I'm a, I got Why we getting punished and they get punished? I got you. Oh, you think they ain't getting punished? Bro, listen, I, I told you, whether you, whether, yeah, oh, the, it, it's coming, <laughs> listen, every, every ghetto you see a black person, the, the reason in every ghetto you see a black person is because black people refuse to take back their nationality. Black people refuse to behave like they were taught to behave. So it's like this, Naeem, Naeem, it's like this, why a white man come into your neighborhood and kill you, but you don't go to his neighborhood and kill him? I'm not condoning that you do that, but I'm just asking, that's food for thought, right? Why that? Why we like that? Why we like that? Why can somebody come and destroy us where we at, but we don't have the nature to go and destroy somebody where they at? Right. Why is that, Naeem? Because one is the captive and one is the captain. One is the captive and one is the captor. One is devoured by who has devoured them. It's not that we're not the same. Understand that, right? Their nature, their nature is the same, their nature is the same as the devil's. You understand? The so-called white man is the devil on earth. That's, right, right. That's in this book. White people are demons. And they were created, or they were allowed to come into this realm to punish you. Because you don't want to behave as a god now. That's where white people come from. Come on, where were we at? John 3. John 3, read that again. And then let's get, uh, we gotta get some water. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except that man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Meaning, you gotta forget everything you know. You was taught lies here, bro. Everything you was taught is a lie. It's all lies. So I'm not, listen, I'm out here with my brother talking. I came out here just for you. If I see a white person, I'm going to ignore them. If a white person asks me questions, I'm gonna ignore them deal with my brother who can't stand what I'm talking about. That's right. I don't care. I'm out here for you. I'm out here for my, my people. You know why? Because we've been lied to for all our lives. So I'm not mad that one uh, uh, one conversation you having, bro, one conversation you having, it's a, uh, what do you call it? It's culture, sh it's, a, uh, it's a culture shock. You don't believe it right now. I'm not mad at that, bro. I understand. It's a, it's a, it's a, a being born again or repentance or, or changing a life. It takes more than 35, 40 minutes. It takes longer than that. I've been taught something all my life too. Guess what? I'm still working on some things to get out of me. Right. I'm still working on it. I feel you, bro. You think we at, where you think we at? Where you think we come from? <laughs> I'm your brother. I came in here, I came here like a change just like you, bro. Just like you. The same lies you was fed, I was fed too, bro. That's right. Same thing, same thing. Come on. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Come on. <clears throat> Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb? Okay, that's it. Let's get some love. So, Naeem, listen, I'm gonna give you some of the things that it requ that's required of you to get out of this to get out of this captivity that you're in, bro. You in hell, bro. That's where you at. We in hell. This is hell. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision 
The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.